drawer by night. This bad boy is kind of in the way. But we got some good news and some bad news. I just don't know how I'm gonna seal the back side of this. More good news, bad news. We did end up contacting Nature's Head. What is up, YouTube? Today, we are going to be installing the ventilation system for our Nature's Head composting toilet. Um, we have been using this toilet for about a month or two now. We do love it so far. It is great to have. It's very convenient in the van. It contains the smells really well while it is closed and sealed. It does smell when you, when you open it, but that is our fault because we haven't installed this ventilation system yet. I think once we get this installed, it will work like a charm. It works like a charm already, but I think it will be more effective in containing the scent. Um, but yeah, let's get started with that. So obviously we have our nature's head toilet. We're going to need the, the hose and the little cap that comes with it. And then a few extra pieces that we're going to use to get this installed. Obviously we're gonna need to drill. We're going to need our hole saw which is, this is a two and one quarter. This is what we're personally using. And we're going to have this, um, I think this is technically a one and a half PVC pipe, but I think that's the opening, not the overall diameter. These two, these two fit perfectly with each other. So we're gonna drill this in. We also have our little hose clamp that's going to go over this. And we're going to use some of this, uh, this mesh we have for a, for a bug net, it's a little too long, so we have to cut down about five inches on it anyway. So we're going to use some of this like heavy duty mesh to go over the end of this, clamp it on, so that way when this is under the van, no bugs or any any nasty stuff can get up in there and potentially, you know, like bugs getting into our compost until that would not that would not be good. So, long story short, this is going to be run through the ground. This will be under the van, meeting it, and we're going to seal this all nice and good on the inside and the outside and that's our plan. So, as you can see, this is our vanity by day, but potty drawer by night. So we built this to perfectly house that toilet. We have our hose here, and this is going to be routed out the floor back here, right around in there. We need to figure out the exact measurements and logistics so we draw out the right spot on the floor. But, and then we will have this kind of just, um, just, zip tied up here and with the, the correct amount of hose to actually run to the toilet and it will be able to slide in and out we've tested it so now the next step is actually finding the exact spot we need to drill that uh hole so we don't hit anything weird under the van the way we are going to to get an accurate depiction of where this hole needs to be um we decided we're going to kind of measure the distance from this window to the closest point of this vanity where the hole could start. So that's about, we're gonna say about 18 inches. So that way, just directly below this on the floor, it'd be about right here. So we're gonna say about 18 inches. And then now we're also gonna go to the outside of the van and measure 18 inches from the window, go straight down and make sure there's no obstructions under the van that would hinder our ventilation system. Now we're on the outside. We're going to measure 18 inches from the window about right here and I guess what I'm gonna do now so you just have another frame of reference I'm just gonna measure from this the seam in the side of the van here and it looks like we're about nine and a half inches from where I just measured so I'm gonna bring this down to the bottom measure nine and a half inches from the seam right here so if you come under here, it's about right in this general area. This bad boy is kind of in the way. So I think, and we measured 18 being very, very conservative. So I think we could draw this in about an inch if we needed to, and it would still have plenty of room up there. So I think that's what we're gonna have to do. Okay, so we have it marked out. This is uh, this is the, the spot that we gotta get to drill it right. So, let's go. We're making a little bit of progress. It's probably really hot. I am going to get this out of here so we can, should be, should be about down in to the actual floor of the van. I'm gonna actually go check outside and see if a, uh, we have a little drill hole yet. A little cleanup. 
little update on the hole. As you can see, we got the hole drilled. Little, uh, we got some good news and some bad news. Like I said, the hole's drilled. But if we go outside, But for the slight bad news, we didn't calculate um, the right distance from the outside of the van. So as you can see right here, there it, this was supposed to be about like here, but I guess we underestimated the width of the little cavities, um, the drain cavities on the van. So it ended up cutting into those. So I had to cut out a little sliver here so that way this, the exhaust can slide up in there. As such, we are gonna have to, you know, silicone around some of this, put this in here. Um, and then also going to fill this with gaps and cracks. So that way no, you know, water, bugs, or whatever else can get up in there. So we're going to, like I said, seal around this with some, uh, some like silicone style adhesive and then gap and crack put the mesh covering on it, clamp that down, and then go from the inside too. Well, now we are going to just apply the mesh screen to the downward side of this PVC pipe. And how we're going to do that is just placing it over here, putting our clamp right over it. I do know that I want this, this clamp to be accessible from underneath. So I'm gonna put it with the the entry part upward so I could loosen it, tighten it, replace this mesh if I ever need to. Probably won't overly do it right now just in case I have to make any adjustments. I don't see having to do that, but for now, that's what we're gonna do. Might trim some of this off so it doesn't get snagged on anything, but it should be good. Okay, so we got some of this Loctite Max Premium Adhesive. It's like the most strong, durable, 100% solid, yada yada, that Loctite has. I'm going to just use some of this to go around this. I'm also gonna fill some of that hole around there so that way when I slide this up in there, it has a nice, nice seal. And if I can fit any more around the edges, I will. And then we're gonna come back in to the hole with this um, gaps and cracks with the little pro gun. We're gonna try and get as much up, up in there as we can so that way it is a filled hole and there's no you know, gap in the side of the van from underneath. And this is the uh, final lovely appearance of our uh, vent. We have great stuff blocking the gap. Um, we can shave it off, make it look, or shave it even, and make it look nicer if we want, but it's under the van, so it doesn't really matter. But the gap is all sealed up now. While the adhesive and great stuff on the outside of the PVC pipe we put in is drying, we are coming in here and Ricky's going to put our little vent nozzle thingy on there. He uh, added some adhesive just around the rim right there to seal it up. Okay, so what we're gonna do to get this sealed to the ground is again use some of the sealant adhesive, go around this a few times, make sure it's got a nice nice solid bead on it, I'm going to place it down in the right position, and then I just have some panhead, uh, some inch long panhead screws. I'm gonna put like five or six just through this into the subfloor to just some extra reassurance to make sure none of this ever wants to go anywhere. This might get a little, like spew out a little bit, but at the end of the day, I'd rather it be a, a solid seal than anything, so. Make sure that's lined up. Looks like it is. Apply some pressure. Okay. So, there it is. I don't know if you can tell, but a little bit came out around the edges, so I might just, you know, wipe it with the towel or my finger, and then I'm gonna apply these screws. Okay. 
Okay, so what we had to do here, long story short, when we would close the drawer, it would obviously, it would hit that little, the nub back there. So we just need to make just like a slight um, incision here. So we use the hole saw lining up with that and then we're just gonna cut off the rest of the end so this will just slide right over that. Okay, now that we gotta get that cut, should be able to slide right over. And the drawer closes. So next on the list is wiring up the fan for the toilet. We previously ran some, it's been a while, I don't remember if it's like 16 or 18 gauge wire, but we ran this so we could power the fan on the toilet. We have our you know, little spade connectors. I'm gonna hook these up. I'm gonna get the toilet in here, connect the two together, and the vent fan should be operational. Then we just hook on the, the rubber, rubber vent hose, and in all reality, should be good to go. So let's get these wired up. I have my spade connectors, uh, positive, negative, and I, you can also see that I have my vent tube connected to the toilet and to the uh, exhaust back there. See it right there. So now all I have to do is set this in here, hook the spade connectors up, and we should have some power ventilation. Okay, so more good news, bad news. Good news, we got everything Got everything situated. We got the wire and the, the tubing in a spot. And we got it zip tied up over here, but it's in a spot that where, when it closes, it doesn't get pinched or bogged down or stop the toilet from so, um, sliding all the way in. It's good to go. But bad news, the fan that comes in the Nature Hood toilet doesn't work. Our fuse block in the back, it actually like lets you know if there's a current running. And when we take the fuse out, it shows that there's a current running. We throw the fuse in and it still isn't working. So we're gonna have to contact Nature's Head, hopefully get it replaced. We will check back with you when we receive it, install it, and hopefully it's operational. Hey guys, I am currently editing this video and I don't believe we provided an update on that Nature's Head uh, ventilation fan. We did end up contacting Nature's Head. They sent us two additional fans free of charge. Good thing they sent us two though because the first one did not work either. Then we tried the second one and luckily it did work. So it seems like it's probably a pretty common issue. They didn't even question anything or ask us to try anything else first and they sent us two. So, but luckily it's working now. Another thing to note is we installed ours on the wrong side. You're supposed to put your fan on the same side as your ventilation tubing. We really didn't have much of any smell anyways with the way we had it, but ever since we switched it, it's like literally have not smelled it at all since, and it's incredible. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, we would really appreciate it if you gave us a thumbs up on this video and hit the subscribe button, and we will catch you Sunday for our kitchen video. See you then. Run away, get away, get away now Too many games and they all trying to play out Too many people and they all start to change now Let me take a bet, they gon' know my name now Yeah, we came a long way, but it's one way Got a long way to go like it's Monday Someday gotta be in LA Know I gotta make it work,